is a 1986 science fiction action film written and directed by Little Jimmy Cameron. It is the sequel to the 1979 science fiction horror film Alien and the second film in the Alien franchise. That's all the research I've bothered to do. It's all you need to do because this movie kicks fucking ass. Ah, spoiler alert, save save the reviews for the end, please. Jesus Christ. Nah, you've got big black cock-shaped aliens. You've got face-hugging things that are like force-feeding their wangs and egg-laying cocks down your throat. Like, what's not to like? Little 100%. white hands mouth-raping you. Oh, essentially, yeah. It's like everybody's worst nightmare. And then the big black cock comes after you. It does. And and the big black cock has another little sharper cock inside its knob. And it yep. just... <laughs> blam, blam. Yeah, no, you just... know what? There's a series of books called Beast House. And, oh, yeah, and, by and that... Richard Lehman. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so they have the beast. And the beast likes to rape women. And it's... Uh-huh. Big cock's got a little cock inside the cock that bites you when it's raping you. Yeah. 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 So if if you're fucked up in the head, like um, all of us here at PNC, and you want to read some really visceral, violent, fucked up, non-PC literature, um, the Beast House series by Richard Lehman. Um, Yeah. Yeah, put Stephen King to shame, really. But just be prepared to... (laughs) be offended and and think fuck how could anybody get away with writing this um because we could do whatever the fuck we wanted in the 90s and uh, he unfortunately passed away 2001 yeah made stephen king look like a fucking pussy loony, lefty writing, pussy yeah. crappy <laughs> writing nursery rhymes compared to richard layman yeah fucking uh right yeah. the cock <laughs> yeah basically. <laughs> okay, we've we've now used our allotment of the R word this episode, Dan. So we can't use that again, or we'll lose our sponsor, um, um, Jessica's Daycare on Ninth Avenue. Um, thank you, Jessica, yeah. for sponsoring this episode. It really does a wonderful job of raising those children. Um, yeah, they really shouldn't have the our podcast on on the speakers um, during nap time. But hey. I'm not going to yuck well, anybody's yum. She said that we could only say rape cock 18 no, times remember. a podcast. Yeah, word. yeah. Yeah. And big black cock, we're only allowed to say that 14 times. Yeah. 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 And eviscerated Gaping. vagina Gaping. is only allowed to be said 48 Once. times. So quite a few Once. restrictions on the podcast, really. Yeah. yeah. Gaping asshole as well. Um, yeah, that's. Let me look my note. Forty-six times, minimum, yeah, well, maximum. She's quite, she's not quite to say. generous. She's quite generous. Both she she of, understood the market that we're going for here. Yeah, she did. She did. Um, so thank you, thank you again yeah. for your support, and uh, we do appreciate it. Uh, meat apron have... is only allowed thirty-nine <laughs> times. So just lay off meat apron. Yeah, for a bit yeah. tonight. That meat a- beef curtains. I think we can get away curtains. with that. That hasn't been mentioned, but it, it might come up. We're future. still negotiating somewhere around sixty times per episode, so we're going to have to cut back mm. quite significantly on on the beef curtains. Yeah, but we are uh, surprisingly well, we children are trying to sleep, so you can understand it. A hundred percent freedom on the word cunt, um, which I think she just loves how percussive it is. Um, mm. And it's, oh, yeah, the it's kids love it. Yeah, well, it helps with their speech, you know. Like, yeah, get get in the yeah. in the tea at the end. It's it's great. Um, yeah, yeah. So free reign on, on yeah. the sea bomb. Mm, aliens. Uh, what was your first exposure to this movie classic? Ah, ah, ah. Well, I was You've a forgotten. fan, already a fan of Alien. I love that film. Um, There's a little child. Okay. I saw that quite young. <laughs> and Aliens, I was like, yeah, I was right into that one, watching that one. Yeah, fuck yeah. So you saw Alien first. 
as a young fella because these would have yeah. both been out before you were kind of you know sort of movie aware wouldn't they like aliens was what was that 86 uh, this is when I was in primary school. <laughs> yeah. I was into it, and that's kind of like my sisters were ten years older, and like uh, yeah. no one wanted to watch children shit, and so mm. well, you know, I I was quite happy to watch adult movies when I was a little kid, and fucking loved it. Yeah, and look how you fucking turned out. Sorry, carry on. Mum thought I would have nightmares, and instead I sat around drawing the xenomorph all day. Just thought it was the most awesome thing I'd ever seen. You just sat around drawing big black cocks. <laughs> yeah, I oh, didn't know that. That's a xenomorph. I didn't know that big black mum, cocks. It's a xenomorph. No, no, no. Remember that film, <laughs> Xenomorph. Yeah, and she would sort of say, "Ah, oh, keep drawing." Daniel's yet. used up Keep all going. the black crayons again. Where the fuck <laughs> that was he drawing? Yeah, he's, he's, they need to be bigger, Mum. He's he's look there. He's drawing black cocks all fucking day. <laughs> like a yet a. a, a, a I have the heart to tell him. <laughs> drawings of big black cocks. It's Go just the school. aliens film, sir. It's just the aliens <laughs> film. Yeah, look, here's another one. Yeah, I've seen yeah. those. I've seen those. And look, this is this is a xenomorph with a face hugger wrapped around it. Yes, <laughs> yes, sir, yes. Face hugger. Uh, yeah, they've all got five fingers. Yeah. So essentially, my childhood was drawing black cocks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well established. Yeah. And I grew up uh, fine. Absolutely. And look at look at the fine content you're putting out into society now. As Just, an adult. I've turned out perfect. Using your given name, just making your <laughs> mother so proud. Look there, he's drawing another cock. Let's put it on there the fridge. He it's talking about on the radio, the on the airwaves, talking about big black cocks again. Just, just, I'm, I'm filled with pride. 47 years old. He's just <laughs> obsessed with black cocks. If only his granddad was here. To listen to him speak about his love for big black cocks. He found his passion when he was just a little boy, and he's kept <laughs> it going his whole old. life. <laughs> years Forty old. years of black cock, he loves it. <laughs> All because of this film. Thank you, Ricky I've, Scott. I've been a good mother. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he dares just sit so essentially boils, boils down to this just black cock baby. <laughs> <laughs> rapey, rapey black cocks. Uh, yeah, again, with our R word usage, we, we, we've we crossed over. So no no more of that. Uh, yeah. We'll do our sponsor. Um, okay, so you, your young age, your older siblings put you onto Alien and Aliens. Yeah. Um, I remember the, seeing I, the trailer for the first time on Entertainment Tonight. Remember that show? Oh, I did. And they played the trailer for it. I was just like, oh, oh my God. I've got to see all, this. And that, the last film only had one big black cock. This one's. <laughs> It's got S on the end. It's, it's got multiple got black cocks them. coming yep. at you from every direction. <laughs> you can't escape them. Sounds perfect. Go down perfect. this corridor, big black cock. Another corridor, big black cock. Oh, there's a there's a big black cock in the air shaft. Yeah. H.R. Geiger, he, he, he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. Genius. Yeah. Genius. Genius. Yep. Idiot savant. So what was your first experience with a big black cock? Uh, well, again, I have an older sibling to blame. So we used to like every 80s family. So your brother weekend. was into big black cock first. Oh, and he, he shared that yeah. love with you. To this day. Yeah. Um, mm. So like any, you know, as I said, 80s family, weekend, Friday night, you get to go to the Video Easy or the Blockbuster or what else did we have? United Video. And, uh, you know, you get to select a new release that everybody, you know, the whole family watches that night. And then you could get a couple of the weeklies each because they were like a buck or whatever. And I'd always be getting, uh, I don't know, some Disney crap or 
like labyrinth for the upteenth time. Oh, they must have hated you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, um, oh God, I'm having flashbacks. Just trying to think of what cartoons I used to, yeah, Ninja Turtles and shit. I don't know. I'm really bored. Um, Why don't you move on to something else? That shit. Yeah, well, I'm telling my story. It's a podcast. We get to have opinions and be serious. Can't all be big black cocks. Um, um, get to the and then, yeah, so cocks. my brother got Aliens, right? And uh, I watched it. He put it on. We have one TV in the house. Poor as shit. And uh, he's got it on. And I'm watching sort of partially over his shoulder. I'm not really watching the film. I would have been like seven, seven, eight. And I saw the face hugger. Scared the fucking shit out of me. Fucking giant spider that's gonna, you know, orally fuck my face, lay an egg. No, thank you. And then I saw bits and pieces like scenes where people die and, oh, yeah, so aliens jump out, but not much. Wasn't really paying attention. Scared, hiding in another room. But I came out, walked in to right on the scene, classic fucking scene. They're all safe. They've escaped the planet. Planet's blown up. They're on the ship. Bishop comes out, good job, Ripley. And then, a a big fucking tail through his chest, rips him in half, right? Remember that scene? Classic fucking scene. Bishop's in half. I could not, and I'm not fucking with you, I could not shower (laughs) months after that because I thought the alien queen's tail was going to come out of the fucking drain pipe. Yeah. And rip me in half. Like, uh, there was legit fear from my childhood. There was that and Pennywise the fucking clown from uh, the original It TV series. Um, Gary. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was, yeah, that was me. Older, I think instead of child. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, I just love the Black Dark Cock. Um, oh, well, well established. <laughs> And, uh, and I had the you... novelization of the movie too. I used to read that. Oh, oh. jolly good stuff. Um, was that one? That's that was a monthly publication from Hustler called Big Black Shafts, wasn't it? No, it was actually a novelization of the movie. Oh, it was uh, official words. merchandise, not just pictures. All right, okay. no, it was all words. Yeah, let's just so describe the it's, shaft. That's yeah. that's your juvenile. Uh, first experience when did you revisit it at a later date you know or was it just from that age that was a classic and you had the vhs yeah i've watched it a number of times Hmm. i had the um the box set one as well of alien 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 2 and alien 3 Hmm. i've watched all the alien movies uh as they've come out right and quite a few the Including the AVPs. Yeah, the AVPs, which mm, I enjoyed. AVP2. Yeah. There was one terrible one. Was that AVP2? Where they had the Super Predator. And it was like the... Isn't that... Oh, I don't fucking remember. I remember there was like an alien-predator hybrid at the end of one of them. Um, yeah, I don't fucking... I don't remember. I don't know. One it was like none of the characters from this franchise, uh, you know, no yeah. Scorny Weaver, and it was. But I mean, I like, it was like we're not army people running around the shit in the series. We had to talk about aliens, the fucking yeah. the be all end all of sequels. There has never been a better sequel, bar possibly T two, also by young Jimmy Cameron. Um, aliens on fire. He's, Easily the best sequel of all time, far surpasses the first one. I don't give a yeah. fuck what you think. Oh, no, but that's a moody one. Oh, it's more of a thriller. Fuck you. Aliens is the better film, all right? Like, hands down, balls to the wall, action, all the set pieces, all the tone, all the acting, everything. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, they're two different things. Each are, each are pretty great in their own way. Aliens is more f- fun. Yeah, it's just the better film. Just just be man enough to say it's the better. The more black cock you have, 
It was very suspenseful, the first one. I mean, like when they first go out and, and into the planet and then they find the eggs so and one leans over okay. and gets it in his face, you know. No. Yeah, it was pretty, sure, pretty it's great. a great film, but it's not a better film, right? That's not what we're talking about here, right? Like, well, it's, it's not oh, like it's a bad better. film, though. And like, there's two great it's films. It's not a bad film. They're two great films, but the better film. Stop aliens. agreeing me, agreeing with me in a high pitched voice. It's very weird. Oh, you just yeah. Alien. <laughs> Alien yep. is pretty boring on a on a rewatch when you've seen it. You know. You know what ruined Aliens. Alien for me though? Someone pointed out, watch for jazz hands. I was like, what are you talking about? And I rewatched Alien because of that. And there's a scene where the alien is in a hallway. Oh, and yeah. He's he right pops out and he goes, Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Yeah, <laughs> totally. It does. <laughs> yeah. 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 This, this big black cock. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, my God. It ruins it a bit. It does. Um, but what makes up for it is um, Sigourney Weaver in her underwear. But we won't dwell on that like the camera did. I got a story. Uh, um, apparently, she, she ref- than, I thought you were about she, to say stiffy. All right. She refused to shave her pubic no, hair. No, that's bullshit. That's a her, fucking urban myth. This hey, is what Ridley Scott crap. said, and no, so they had to they had to hand the remove each Back hair. Off. Yeah, that's been debunked. He did it's it. True. He said it as a joke in the commentary. So it's true. Every word of it's swiftly. true. Uh, this is also Aliens is one of the only occasions where the director's cut, the extended edition or the special edition, is better. Again, adds to the film. It's you know another what the, twenty minutes. Do you and, know what the um, cinematographer's name of this film was? Aliens. <sighs> Diddlesworth. Dick Bush. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> Yeah. Good. Oh, great. If that's legit, that makes me very happy. It's it's legit. I just thought I'd bring it up because of um, the, the tremendous amount of pubic hair that Scorny Weaver has. Right. So they had to get a man on set who knew how to handle these things. That was Dick Bush. Right. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Well, can I finish my point about how great the specialised um, edition is? I'd just like to say hello to the kiddies at Pamela's um, child care unit. Hi, kiddies. Oh, yeah. Pamela, have they just come on as a sponsor because it was Jennifer um, earlier? Whatever her name is, I just wanted to, you know. Hey, Bush. Hey, she's a, she's hey, a woman you don't care, eh? Yeah. Ugh. Nah, well, they're just property, really. Right, yeah. You were saying? Uh, well, it's okay because our listenership is 99% male. So sorry for our 1% who have now been offended. Um, yeah. I can't remember what I was saying. No fucking idea. Uh, <laughs> Dick Bush. <laughs> I even know what I'm saying. Dick Bush. We were talking about Dick Bush. Dick Bush. Well, Dick Bush should be, you know, he needs a haircut. Should be trimmed. Um, yeah, Dick yeah. Bush should not be given free reign. Also sponsored by Dr. Pepper. You just Dr. dip your Pepper. balls into yeah. Dr. Pepper and the hair comes straight off Dick Bush. Yeah, for our constant listeners, if you'd like to know about all the uses of Dr. Pepper, um, listen to our Red Hot Chili Peppers episode. Have you noticed, uh, not to get into it on the air, but I'm, we're there now, that um, our uh, listeners, our listener base, our constant listeners here at PNC, um, they prefer the movie episodes. Uh, over the music episodes. So... Well, the, mu- the music episodes are shit. Wow, that's true. We do pick shit albums for each other to try and review, and yeah. then we give each other good films, don't we? Yeah, that's that's a fair statement. Absolute waste of time, yeah. I do feel um, that this episode, Aliens, is this mm-hmm. is gonna this is going to be our biggest episode. I'm, I'm saying it right now. Biggest episode. You know, Starship Troopers does well, Predator, all these 80s action films. Blah, 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 blah. But I think uh, Aliens is going to top them all. Anyway, so when they were making this film, there was, there was a lot of problems. Um, apparently, 
the f alien was made for 10 million dollars or something like that it made a hundred million dollars <laughs> and they said through hollywood accounting um they claimed the film made a loss not a profit um so they didn't want to make a sequel to alien they, they said there wasn't really a market for it and they said horror movies are on the way out at the moment so it was a lot of stalling um James Cameron was brought on uh, with his girlfriend, Anne Heard, who was the producer. And they left the project multiple times over different disagreements, I think, twice. Mm -hmm. Came back, left, came back, before yeah. the production finally got it, got going. Um, I mean, this is fucking boring. I mean, who cares, Dan? Shut who up. Who cares about the production? This actually happened, all right? This, this is a documentary, not a film. Um. Quality from start to finish. Bill Paxton, the world needs more of him. Um, yeah, Bill Paxton was um, worried his character was going to be annoying, apparently. Came over, and, man! Until they, until he realized, oh, I'm the comic relief. <laughs> and then he went, ah, oh, I get it. Yeah. And uh, he, so he plays into the comedy quite a bit in this film and, uh, you know, over-emotional marine yeah. who should really have nerves of steel yeah but he cracks like a pussy doesn't he he does he really does um fucking space marines how sweet are they Some yeah big ass guns uh, i mean i was kind of sad that they killed them all off but that's that's what we need we need a fucking space marines film doesn't have to have aliens like give me a series of films on the space marines Fucking easy. Pulse rifles and fucking Starship shit. troopers? Ah. Yeah, but make it in the Aliens universe. Just give me the Space Marines. Troopers was great. Aliens? Other fucking pulse rifles. They did Aliens. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. I need more films. Give me more. Just give me Space Marines. One, two, three. They made do. You know what I mean? They were fighting demons from hell. No, but I'm literally saying this team of space marines right they did like these guys they weren't very weren't, good at being space marines that's true they didn't last very long did they but when you've got you know they were only dozens fighting. of big black cocks coming at you in a corridor in a confined space there was only 12 apparently they only built 12 but they made it look like there were lots reusing things so they're only fighting 12 big black cocks and that wiped out a whole platoon of space marines. They're not great. I was, I was intrigued to know that, or to note, the amount of KY jelly that was used in the production of this film. Well, I think um, Dick Bush was probably responsible Dick, for that. Dick Bush was probably <laughs> responsible. <laughs> yes, he's, all, he's always handy with um, the KYs, Dick Bush. He's, he's just... Dick Bush, how are we going to light the scene? We're going to need some KY. Oh, yeah. It's like... We're going to need 10,000 buckets of KY or my name is Dick Bush. <laughs> Set a, like, a fire truck oh, just behind the camera, just loaded with jelly. Really what are we going to do with this big black yeah. cock, Dick Bush? Dick Bush says more KY. Dick Bush says, yep. Yeah. Work the shaft. More KY. We're going to really need more KY there. on the shaft or it's, it's just not going to work. Really get it. It needs to be dripping. I want a tight shot. We're going to need more KY. Just loosen it up. And it's, it's a tight a shot. Forced perspective here. <laughs> yeah. On the tight get shot. a dolly. Plenty of KY for dolly. The dolly is zoom. Get it's going to be a tight shot. A well, my name zoom. is a Dick Bush. Dick Bush. <laughs> yeah. Dick yeah, Bush actually got of... fired from this production as well. Yeah. Unfortunately. Older sibling of um, George Bush, uh, allegedly. So. Not as an amusing name. Yeah. No. But, no. But, you know, good on his parents for going there. Mr. and Mrs. Bush thought, what are we going to call our son? Let's go with Richard. Yeah. And they didn't Dick. think it through. 
deck. Um, you know, you could go with your full name, Richard, couldn't you? No, I'm Dick Bush. Okay, Shut up, yeah. Mum. I'm Dick Bush. Yeah. Darling, darling, if, you know, your granddad was named Richard, and we just think it would be a better idea if you, maybe you used, you know, the whole word... And, and you were you were Richard Bush. What do you think about that, darling? I've had enough of your lip, Mum. Now give me the jelly. I'm out of here. You're Richard in for a second there. Yeah. <laughs> Call me think... Dick Mother. <laughs> Dick Motherfucking Bush. <laughs> I'm Dick Bush. <laughs> Call that a knife? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Dick Bush's parents really upset because the. I'm trying to make a joke about how the KY kept disappearing, but um, I haven't really thought it through because this is live. So, Richard, Richard, have you seen? The- I'm Dick. Okay, okay, Dick, have you seen the KY? Dick Bush has the KY jelly. If Dick, Dick Bush, Bush knows anything. Dick Bush knows KY. <laughs> hey, darling, have you thought about the future and what you want to do with yourself, little Dicky? I'm going to film big black uh, cocks. I'm to make th- things look slimy, Mum. Slimy. <laughs> or oh, my name is a hey, mate, Dick Bush. Dick Bush. <laughs> you call that a bush? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, joy. Directed by right. James Cameron. Directed by little Jimmy Cameron. Yeah. Yep. More jelly. Dick Bush. Yeah. <laughs> I Dick, imagine Dick Dick, I don't spring. think we need more KY. I mean, the uh, budgets uh, we're already two hundred percent over the KY bu- budget. My name's uh, yeah. Dick Bush, and I Dick need Bush. more KY. Yeah. yeah, I imagine him wearing some sort of cape. Yeah, <laughs> he would. He, he, Dick Bush definitely Dick Bush wears a cape to set. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and a beret, Dick's, beret, very strong moustache. Dick Bush. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 what I visualized when they were making this film. Just oh, just there's this there's Jimmy Cameron in the, you know, director's chair and then off to the right somewhere. It's in a little dark corner. Dick Bush. He's got a little chair with Cape Dick chair. Bush written yeah. on it. And just a box of lube next to him. <laughs> Whose chair is that? That's Dick Bush's chair. Dick Bush. Nobody. Dick Bush. Dick Bush's chair. <laughs> Talks about himself in um, third person. Yeah. Dick Bush, Bush says more KY. Yeah. yeah. Dick, we're about to film the scene where the Queen is fighting Ripley. He, now Jim Cameron's Australian too. He's fighting Ripley. In the, but I need the a lot of KY, loader. Jim. The power loader. Well, my name is big... Dick Bush. Yeah. It's got a big inner mouth. It needs to drip all over Ripley's face. I'm the man for the job, Jim. I'm the man for the job, Jim. <laughs> Fair dinkum. <laughs> well, my name is a Dick Bush. Dick Bush. <laughs> um, if you're still here listening to us at PNC, I hope you've got the windows down in your car and the volume up. Very loud. Well, my name is a Dick Bush. <laughs> would like to say hi to all the children at Jennifer's Daycare Centre. Thank you for sponsoring this episode. G'day, kids. My name's Dick Bush. Yep. If you've got those, um, if you're trying to, if you're trying to fit a cube into a round hole, you're gonna need KY. Would, you're gonna need. What would Dick Bush do? He'd get a ton of fucking KY. <laughs> You can fit fucking anything in any fucking hole if you're Dick Bush. <laughs> Dick no matter the shape, I'll get it in there. Yeah, crikey. 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 It's, what an in-depth study of aliens we've done. Mm, you call that a hole? It's a <laughs> hole. Straight to the lube room. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dick Bush. Quality. 
Dick Bush. Um, so where do we go from there? Honestly, there's there's nowhere but down from there. What a high point. Uh, if you would like to um go down to any local library, you can pick up Dick Bush's autobiography. Um, um I had, Dick I had Bush thought, A Life in Dick Film. <laughs> My Life in Film by Dick Bush, yeah. Um, you can get the audio book, which is narrated by Kate Winslet. She does a great job. Yeah. Uh, My name's Dick Bush. <laughs> yeah, well, we're yeah, going to but... double feature this. Yeah, well, he was, I mean, Dick Bush was um, involved in the production of the Titanic as well. And uh, it's the whole reason why Jack couldn't fit on the door. Is because Dick Bush had overlubed it. Um, he kept sliding off. It just kept sliding off. I'll never let go, Jack. Oh fuck! I can't hold on. Dick Bush. <laughs> yeah. The water was actually KY jelly. It's not water. Yeah, no, that's it. It's all jelly. Yeah. It's, I mean, he's a fin- where I don't know where he finds water. His doesn't spine. look like water on film. Yeah, you got to use film, KY. No. Yes. Well, my name is it, Dick Bush. Dick Bush. So if if you're uh, if you're in college right now and you listen to PNC, um, remember to play as the instructions are written in the back of the Dick Bush autobiography, the uh, Dick Bush drinking game. Uh, you listen to our episodes every time you hear the term Dick Bush. Uh, yeah, finish your drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and 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 lube up, of course. Well, my name isn't Dick Bush. Dick Bush. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so look, when your your older siblings have gone out and they've they've picked these quality films for you to watch on a Friday night from the video store, uh, and they say to you, "Hey, little little brother Dan, um, you can pick one. What would you like to double feature with Aliens? Uh, what are you going to choose?" I'm going to carry on the theme and say Platoon. Platoon, mm. oh, army style. Yeah, oh, Vietnam. Yeah. I'm in the shit. Yeah. We're in the shit. We're in the shit. Yeah. Wow. You know who I'd like to be in the trenches with? Dick Bush. Dick Bush. That's right. Yeah, I was a bit <laughs> slow on that one. Sorry. I gotta drink twice. <laughs> He's a man who'd get you out of a jam. If you're in a tight jam, Dick Bush. Get Dick. I wonder if he's still alive. Yeah. You can't kill Dick Bush. He's a slippery cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dick Bush. Right off, the, right off the top of the dome. Um, yeah, fuck, I hadn't thought about double feature. I mean, the obvious one is Alien, right? Alien and Aliens, these are two films. But I always say I, I do think that Predator, the original Predator is the best uh, double feature with for some reason, aliens. Maybe it's because when this came out, do you remember down at the local arcade? Um, you used to be able to put coins into the Alien versus Predator arcade game, which was the Colonial Marines just fucking blowing shit up for twenty cents a pop. Oh no, I don't remember that. <laughs> mm, it's quality. YouTube it. Yeah. Who's the end boss? The Dick Bush? Ah, uh, well, no. Um, I never got that far, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> It probably was then. Let's just assume yeah. it was. Ah, be the perfect ending, wouldn't it? Yeah. Dick Bush. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, that's easy. What else do we do in these movie episodes? It's been a while in the new so, studio. Over on IMDb, oh, yeah, we get 8.4 for cold-hearted bastards. Over at IMDb. High rating. Ah. <sighs> Let me speak that. Ten gets better every time I see it. Ten, the best science fiction action flick ever made. And there were a lot of tens, to be honest. I was I had to scroll all, quite a way to find anything less than that. Nine, this is how it's done, you morons. Mm. And then some cunt said five, so overrated. <laughs> yeah. Dragging the average down. Wow. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's well, better, buddy? What's better? Yeah. Look, it's um if you haven't seen it, uh you're a fan of sci fi horror action, you definitely need to be in on the Aliens franchise. I mean, start at one because it's simple, it sort of lays it out. But it gives you no backstory, which is yeah, it's okay. And then Aliens, it still doesn't really flesh out the backstory. It just carries it on, makes it bigger. Um, and doesn't fuck around. It's not bogged down. It's just uh, classic. You know? Well, later on, Ridley Scott returned and fleshed out the universe no, and gave us it. Yeah. all the answers we never fucking wanted. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, just... Let, let there be some mystery that we can figure it out. I mean, you don't have to go down, uh, yeah, like the, the Disney rabbit hole, do you? As you know, there's another one coming called Romulus. I'm actually looking forward to that. Have you yeah, seen the trailer? Both. It looks pretty kick ass. Yeah, it's like the Evil Dead fucking director. Yeah, yeah, well, not the original Evil Dead director. The uh, no, but the, the the one that made the really nasty one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. But what I was most excited about, as I said earlier, is these, he's brought back the pulse rifle, the fucking the colonial marines or whatever they called themselves, the space marines. That shit is going to be back. And that, yeah. that you know, that sounds great. Yeah. Hopefully returning as Dick Bush as well. Dick yeah. Bush. Dick Bush. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, he's hard to find now. He lives in the outback of Australia, apparently. You know, he um, likes to live off-grid. With his mum. With his mum is still alive. Yeah, it's amazing um, when you bathe in um, KY jelly every day. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful for the complexion. Yeah. Dickie, did you put KY in my cereal again? <laughs> Dickie. <laughs> Dickie. Dick Bush. Uh, Dick Bush. <laughs> oh, Dick Bush. Yeah, he's great, mate. Yeah. Oh, you can fucking, you can fucking drink pints, can't you? No, do they drink pints in Australia? I don't know. Yeah, he pays for everything in fucking jelly. Fucking KY. <laughs> no cash. It's all just fucking jelly. Jelly and KY. Yes. <laughs> what a legend. An Australian legend, Dick Bush. <laughs> Yeah, Dick. But I mean, look, they I know they based um uh the character of Crocodile Dundee on a lot of Dick Bush's exploits. Just Yeah. Yeah. yeah um for but for copyright reasons they couldn't use his name. So Dick Bush. Yeah. Dick Bush. Dick Bush. Well, another perfect episode. Well, uh, should we just end it there and just once again a lovely tribute to the greatest filmmaker of all time, Dick Bush. Bless him. Bless him. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, uh, what have you been doing out there and in the big wide world, everybody? Just uh, continue to enjoy it. And just remember if, if, it, if it ain't coming easy to you, then you, have mm. to, you have to work hard in life. You've got to, you know, force yourself into these hard situations. It's always better. KY Jelly, we salute you, Dick Bush. Well, my name isn't Dick Bush. Yeah.